All right, guys, so today we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of owning a Basenji. So um, a Basenji is known as um, a bush dog. That's what Basenji actually means. Um, and the name, it comes from Africa. And so um, this dog has a lot of pros. Um, it has a few cons as well. Um, and I just want to share these with you guys to introduce you guys to the Basenji. There are so many different types of dogs out in the world. Um, so many dogs, in fact, that, you know, there's, there's hundreds of breeds out there. And um, I think there's not much information about different breeds um, for people to really um, learn about the dog that they have or rather a puppy that they're getting. Sometimes people are just given a dog and they think it's one type of dog and it turns out to be something completely different. Um, so today I'm going to be introducing you guys to the Basenji and talking about the pros and cons of owning a Basenji. Um, and this is this just helps just in case, you know, you know you want to get a Basenji. It's just a good idea to know like these pros and cons so you can decide if it's going to be a good fit for you or not, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the Basenji, um, it is a 300-year-old breed. Um, so this dog goes back centuries, essentially. Um, I guess you can call it ancient, if you will, for a dog breed. Um, so, um, he's got his ancient roots there. Um, the dog does, is said to come from the Middle East, but he's also said to come from, um, Central Africa as well. So the Basenji, one of the qualities of a Basenji is that he has a, a curled tail. A lot of times you'll find with the Basenji, if you look at the look on his face, a lot of times he looks a bit puzzled. He looks a bit more curious about things that are going on. Um, so that's like two things about a Basenji that kind of identifies the dog. Um, the dog does come in this dog, as you can see here, the Basenji. Um, he does come in tan and white. He can also come in other colors as well too. The Basenji is known for his yodeling cry. Um, there are some videos on YouTube where people actually, you know, have recorded their Basenji making the yodeling cry. So this dog does not bark like your traditional dog. Um, he actually yodels. Um, I, I'd say it's kind of like, he kind of sounds a little like a, kind of like to me, like a rooster in a sense, a little bit. Um, when he does his yodeling cry. And one of the things I found that was interesting is that if you are hearing this dog yodel and you're, you know, let's say you're really sleepy and you're just getting up in the morning, it may startle you. It, I guess it depends on how loud the dog makes the sound. Uh, but I think the yodeling cry is really going to take some getting used to uh, for people who happen to get this particular type of dog breed. So it is a little different, but doesn't mean that this dog cannot provide you with a lot of love and be a great fit for you and your family, no matter how big or small your family is. So one of the biggest pros about the Basenji is that he is easy to groom. Um, and I don't know about you, but having a dog that's easy to groom is amazing to me because who wants to, you know, be constantly having to, you know, comb their dog's fur all the time and everything like that? It's probably not for you, you know. Um, I did a video prior, um, and it was a video about the Afghan Hound. And that dog has a very long and luscious coat. And that's a dog that's going to have to be combed and groomed every day. Compared to that, the Basenji's grooming is very minimal if at at all okay this breed is actually pretty special and there's something unique about this dog where this dog actually grooms himself like a cat so for some people that might come across as a little bit bizarre but i think that can be a good thing because that means that there's less grooming for you to do because the dog actually wants to keep himself clean and who wouldn't want to keep a clean dog most of the time I, that sounds like a dream to me Another pro about the Basenji is that he or she requires very um, 
very little exercise. So this dog is the type where um, you don't have to take this dog for very long, 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 long walks. Uh, this would be a great dog for somebody who likes to get out and take a walk, but you know, you don't have to take long walks. If you're not somebody who's super active or anything like that, then a Basenji might be a good dog for you. Um, you could also have somebody to walk the dog for you. There's like dog walkers and stuff like that too. But this dog is really great for somebody who's not really much into exercise and things like that. Um, so that's an, that's another pro. Now for some people, they want a really active dog. They want a dog with tons of energy. Um, for some people, you know, those of you who want a dog with like super amounts of energy, then you might consider getting a Shiba Inu because that dog actually has a lot of energy. Trust me, I um, ended up finding a uh, Shiba Inu and these are dogs that do not sleep, okay? They don't sleep. So this is a dog that'll keep you up in the middle of the night. You'll have to take the dog for walks. You'll constantly have to play with the dog. And if you're not 100% committed, I mean, you might be active, but that dog, Shiba Inus are, are beyond active, okay? Very, very, very active, just a warning for those of you out there. And um, we'll talk more about the Shiba Inu when the video comes up for the dog as well. Just wants to give you a little bit of my uh, personal experience. Alrighty. So, um, the Basenji is a dog that does not eat a lot, so you're not gonna have to spend a lot of money on this dog. Um, some people um, may prefer to make dog food for um, their dogs, and I would say it's a good idea if you have a Basenji, you know, make sure you check and make sure that, you know, you make sure in the food the dog is getting the right amount of vitamins and minerals um, so that the dog can stay healthy, okay? So you wanna make sure of that, and you can talk to the breeder that you get the Basenji from, um, if you end up getting the dog from, um, I imagine you'd get the dog from a breeder um, because I'm sure it's not very common to find a Basenji. I mean, again, I haven't, haven't looked for a Basenji. Um, however, I think it will be more common to find one with a breeder, but there may be other resources out there uh, where you can get a Basenji from. Um, you just want to make sure they're reliable and reputable and they have reviews and stuff like that. Um, before you invest in getting a Basenji from that particular person. You know, you don't want to just get a dog that somebody says is a Basenji and, you know, the dog is not raised in good conditions and things like that. You want to make sure you get a, a healthy dog um, that has, you know, a good breeding, uh, that's been taken care of and everything like that. Uh, if you're uh, getting the dog as a puppy or if you're getting the dog, um, you know, if you're getting the dog after, you know, after his puppy stage and things like that. Um, another pro is that this dog is odor free. So because this dog is um, cat like and likes to keep itself clean, then this dog is, you know, um, actually touted as being an odor free dog. So this is going to be might be a great dog for somebody who possibly has allergies. Um, because the dog is odor free, you know, and some people, you know, the slightest bit of dust can bother them. Um, it doesn't mean that somebody who has allergy to like dogs or uh, pet hair is going to be immune to their allergies that they have them. It's just that, you know, I thought it would be a good recommendation and stuff like that, especially if some, you know, especially if like you're somebody who has allergies that maybe, um, having to with might be a good fit for you in terms of a pet. Um, now, one con about the Basenji is that this dog can get restless and you can tell that he or she is restless if they start to jump up in position. So they like rise from their like if they're at a resting position on the floor and they start to jump up um, and they're like you just all of a sudden active, then, you know, the dog is restless. So. You do want to have something uh, that's going to keep the dog active. So if you have children, um, if you're somebody and, you know, you take the dog out for a walk and things like that, that would be super helpful to do so the dog does not get bored, okay? Um, so that is just something to know. Like this is how you can tell the dog is restless because it'll start jumping up from a rested position uh, because it's bored and doesn't have anything to do. So you want to have 
the dog having toys and different things to keep it the it, you know keep the dog's mind active and keep him having some where he can play um, you may want to take the dog to a dog park too so the dog can interact with other dogs as well you know you just want to make sure dog parks you know you may not be sure how other people's dogs are going to interact with yours so just be cautious Another con about the Basenji, and I think this is going to be a con as far as people um, with small animals are going to be concerned. So if you're somebody and you have um, pet gerbils or pet mice or pet hamsters or pet rabbit um, or, you know, let's say like maybe even, you know, a pet frog or anything like any kind of small pets or anything like that. Um, maybe even a ferret or, um, you know, um, some other kind of small furry pet or if you have like maybe chickens or little baby chicks or little ducks or whatever. Um, if you have small pets around, like little small animal pets, then um, the Basenji is a hound. I know it doesn't look like a hound, but he's a hound or she's a hound. And this is a dog that is, because it's a hound, it's going to want to hunt. So because it's gonna to wanna to hunt, it is going to be likely to chase after small animals like birds, squirrels, mice, um, gerbils, all kinds of little small animals or small pets um, that you might have. If you have any you know, wildlife in your backyard and you're big on feeding birds and bird watching or their squirrels or anything else, you know, and you know you have a basenji understand that the dog is going to likely wanting to run and chase after it and you know are you really going to want to chase after the dog you know if the dog is you know distracted and also if you're walking the dog too this is the same uh when it comes to a um to an afghan hound if you have an afghan hound dog then that dog is likely to chase too okay so um you know Except I, an Afghan hound is going to have to run for distances, like very big, huge distances. The Basenji, um, in my research, I haven't found that yet. Um, there's always new research coming out about, you know, cats and things like that. But it is important to know that when it comes to this type of breed of dog, that you just be cautious. Because if you're walking a dog and a squirrel runs up a tree, then the Basenji is going to be trying to run and try to get at it. You know, there's a squirrel down the street or like a little rabbit down the street. He's going to try to run down there and get the rabbit or run down there and get the squirrel or the bird or whatever. And if the dog takes off and you're not able to handle the dog taking off, then that's going to be a bit of a concern for you if you have this type of breed of dog. So if you have, you know, a Basenji or if you have an Afghan hound, you're going to find Dogs in the hound family are going to hunt because that's what is bred into them, into their breed, okay? So I just wanted to kind of share that. And that can be a con for some people. And especially if you're somebody and you have birds. So if you have like a parakeet or some other kind of pet bird in your house, maybe that, you know, your household may not be fit for, you know, having a Basenji if you already have you know, small animal pets, or you have birds, or anything like that, you know, um, so something, something to think about, you know, some, definitely something to think about, however, um, I wanted to introduce you guys to the Basenji, I think this is a beautiful dog, um, I think it looks like a very amazing dog, um, it looks like a little superhero dog, I like how it stands, like standing on this, um, this wooden log, or whatever, but I think this is an amazing dog, um, and I think it will make, you know, it will make a great dog for someone out there who feels like, you know, the cons outweigh the positives. So I just want to introduce you guys to the Basenji. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll be having an, um, more videos coming out as far as, um, as far as other dog breeds out there. So I'm going to be doing videos about other types of dogs too. So, um, and I might get into mixed breeds so far. I'm just focusing on like purely bred dogs. Um, but I might get into the mixed breeds and stuff like that. We'll have to see how that goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day.